Welcome to another tutorial on uh, vectors. Today we're going to use what we have learned uh, just to give you an idea of what you can actually use vectors for. And I've gone ahead and created a new project. It's just the first first person template. Um, so we're going to jump straight into it and open my character, uh, the my character blueprint because we want to, uh, yeah, work with our vectors. So um, we want to do something every tick. What we are going to do is do a line trace in front of our character, just so we can see what we're looking at. And uh, this is something we can use vectors for. Um, using this uh, template, we're going to have to add a little bit to how I would normally do it, but it's good because you get to work more with the vectors. But uh, to begin with, we're just going to take a quick look at uh, rotation, what it is. So, get pawn rotation, Con get control rotation is the one I'm looking for. We're just going to take this and we have string. We just want to print something to the screen and what do we want we want the rotation and we're just going to take a quick look at it so you can learn how this is uh, what this is and how we can use it and as you can see we have the rotation of it and what is the rotation we have the the yaw going left to right and you can see the number is going between 0 and 360. This is just which direction we're, we're looking at in the world. And up and down is the P for pitch. And the last one, roll, is for leaning. So if you want your character to lean or a plane to roll to one side, you would add roll. But basically you can get every direction in the game world using just pitch and pitch and yaw. But um, we're not really after rotation. We're working with vectors. And uh, how can we get this rotation? Because if you remember, a vector is also a, a direction. So we're going to turn this into a vector. We do this by get forward vector. So now we actually have something that is something different but it it can be used for some of the same stuff so as you can see here it's a very short vector it's just one on the x-axis zero on the y and zero on the c-axis but when we start moving the mouse it changes and these numbers up here they don't add up to, to one but the length of the vector is one so we have this vector and we're just gonna this is what you call a normalized vector. A normalized vector is just a direction basically in the game world. And uh, you can let's just quickly check the length of it by getting vector length. And it should be one at all times. And sure enough, it is. So a vector with a length of one you can call a direct direction vector. Of sorts. Anyway, we have this forward vector. We're gonna uh, need this, but we want to do a line trace from uh, every frame because we want to see what we are looking at. So, drag out from event and do line trace by channel. That's just the default one. And for one frame so it's deleted every frame that we do and we want to do this from our get actor location we have that one and usually we would drag this in but let's just see what happens if we do this uh, plus I want to add this hope you follow this is basic stuff we've done it before whoops Float. We want four meters. 
400. That's four meters. And we started at the location and we get the forward vector of our controller and add it to the location. So we basically just get four meters in front of us and let's see what happens. It's, it's going to work, but it's not going to be pretty. As you can see, it looks like it's coming out of our penis. So a little red penis. But this is not what we want, so let's just fix this. And we have this variable over here called gun offset. And this is basically just, as you can see, it's forward a little bit, a little bit to the right, and then up a little bit. And yeah, we're just going to add this to our actual location and use this as our start. I hope you follow this. Actual location plus our offset. Oh, oops. Actually, we want to rotate this one by our rotation here. So we have a vector that goes forward 100 on the X and up a little bit on the Y. And, but this would basically just mean that we always start our line trace one meter on, uh, further down the X axis, regardless of which way we're looking. So to fix this, we're just going to rotate the vector using this rotation. So this is not going to stay at 133 and 10. It's going to change all the time, depending on the rotation that we saw before. Okay. So we're going to rotate this vector and add it to this, uh, to the actor location. So it's always a meter in front of us. And then we want the same forward vector that, uh, this forward vector from the same rotation and Multiply that by 400. As we saw before, this had a, a, a length of one, so that's just one centimeter. And we just want four meters in front of us. So we have this location, uh, the start location, and four meters in front of this. We're going to put the end. And now we no longer have a little red. <clears throat> Instead, it, co it comes out of our gun, like this. Okay, so now we can see what we're looking at, but this is not really useful. Um, but let's just add one more thing before we stop. And that is this one. We get the line trace, and you saw the little red square. That's where you hit. And we can take this result and break it. Boom, it's broken. And as you can see, there's an actor. An actor has a name, this play name. Okay, we just want to tell it, uh, we just want the game to tell us what we're looking at. So we're going to print the string of our actor's name. And not all things in this world are actors. The floor is not an actor. It's BSB brush, so it doesn't give us anything. But we can hit this cube, cube six, large cube, cube eight, cube seven, 10, 11, blah, blah, blah. And there you have it. You are now working with vectors and you can use this in your project. Enjoy.